Due to founding father Edward Bernays' links with propaganda, PR is sometimes seen as a type of propaganda. Bernays called propaganda the conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized opinions of the masses. Propaganda is often seen as negative. It's associated with Nazi Germany, for example, and plays a very big part in the gloomy prediction for the future which George Orwell set out in his novel 1984. So, what's the difference between PR and propaganda? Both propaganda and persuasion aim to alter people's opinions and attitudes. However, while a aim of public relations is to persuade, there's a clear difference between persuasion and propaganda. Public relations theorists, Trench and Yeomans, develop five steps to differentiate between persuasion and propaganda, and these are intent. Has the communicator got good intentions? Free will, does the persuadee have a measure of freedom? Truth, is there any intention to deceive on behalf of your clients? Autonomy of audiences, a measure of equality of the audience. Are the audience respected? Are they able to participate themselves? Ethics, are there conscious attempts to reflect on ethical practice? The Chartered Institute of Public Relations, CIPR, operates a code of professional conduct. The code also emphasizes that honest and proper regard for the public interest, reliable and accurate information, and never misleading clients about the nature of representation or what can be competently delivered or achieved are vital components of robust professional practice.